We're at uh, 747, time for News Extra. Today brought to you by Intralinks. Here's Kevin Wood. Thank you, Dennis, and good morning, everyone. Our guests today are uh, Billy Estes from the Midwest Theater. Mason Burbeck is here from the West Nebraska Arts Center. And the word I was trying to say at 7 o'clock is collaborative. That's right. Right? You guys like are working that. on the project together. Yes, um, the West Nebraska Art Center and the Midwest Theater are co-presenting the Missoula Children's Theater production of Cinderella. And uh, we have auditions coming up for that uh, right away. Uh, it's going to be Monday, March 5th, 4 o'clock p.m. at the Midwest Theater. All right, so how many uh, how many spots are available? This is a totally uh, it's a to fairly all large, local actors, basically, yes, right? A uh, fairly large cast. There's, uh, I believe, about 40 uh, that they can do. And so that's grades K through 12. Wow. Yeah. All right. So you so you need, uh, how many actors do you need in like the senior high division and how many in the, the smaller? Well, the mix, yeah, I'm not sure. It can be, uh, you know, kind Either of a way. mix of, yeah, any, any age group, I think. And All right. they'll, they'll work with it. Yeah. All right. All right, that's great. Yeah. Now, uh, the fact you guys have the Missoula Children's Theater and you're going to have a couple of people from that theater kind of directing and organizing the whole thing. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, kind of a different direction. We would just wanted to try it out and, uh, and you know, kind of see how that works. And uh, Yeah, I think it's going to be a good option. Yeah, a good mix. Huh? Yeah. All right, so auditions are Monday at 4 p.m. at the Midwest Theater, and then uh, they don't have long to practice because you have performances That's right. at the theater coming up uh, next Friday. Next Friday, not this Friday, but next Next Friday. Friday, yep, Friday, March 9th, and we have two matinees, uh, one at 9 a.m., uh, one at 1 p.m., and uh, anybody, if you're out of school that day, if you're with the uh, grandparents or whatever, come down to the theater, and it'd be a great chance to see that production. Um, also, the evening of March 9th at 7 p.m., we have a production then as well. All right, that sounds great. And uh, you have discounted tickets? Yes. Um, all school groups, daycare groups, they receive that discounted price of $1.50 per seat. Um, and then members of the Midwest Theater and members of the Art Center, just $5 uh, per seat, uh, $7 regular price. This is, this is pretty cool. This is pretty well, we, cool. We think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've so. been doing children's theater for a while. So. Yeah. Yes. Children's yeah. theater. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So... Uh, so Billy, you got some sponsors here that are that are kind of helping you guys out as well, right? Of course, the Nebraska Arts Council supports the, the Art Art Center as well as the Midwest, so they're underwriting the program with the Nebraska Cultural Endowment, and then we also received a grant from the Panhandle Shrine Club. All right, you guys kind of work this together. You kind of spoke about maybe it'd be neat if we did the <coughs> yeah. The last together. few years we've talked about trying to figure out a way to collaborate in the the programming side of it. Uh, it for many years, the Children's Theater has been at the Midwest for about a 10 year run and then it took a year hiatus and it's, we're glad to have it back in uh, our program and offerings of the Midwest. And, you know, there's nothing like to see a little child inspired and uh, go forward with uh, learning something on the stage and, and taking it to practical application in adulthood, which yeah. we've seen a good example of here lately. In, well, that's in right. With Ms. Ms. Scanlon. Yeah, no question. It was pretty obvious last night, no question about it. All right, so that's, that's great. Um, we're going to talk about some other things uh, going on with the Arts Center and the Midwest Theater right after this. Is your wireless computer network secure? With their years of professional service, you can trust Interlink's technical mm -hmm. solutions to keep your small or medium business computer system up and running not having a secure wireless network. They're great terms. Yeah. What are, what are bio, <laughs> bio, <laughs> bio teaks? <laughs> yeah, she has a collection. Like that is. They're interesting. It's a collection of paintings that they're about half antique found objects and half her original <laughs> paintings. And yeah. They're weird and, and wonderful. All right, we are back on News Extra. Uh, we talked here uh, just a moment, ago, a moment ago about uh, the auditions for the Missoula Children's Theater uh, play of Cinderella. Classic story. Auditions are Monday, March 5th, 4 p.m. at the Midwest Theater. They have about 40 parts they need to film. They, they, they need to fill, so uh, get your, uh, if your children are interested in, in uh, performance arts, that'd be great, and get involved in this. And then also at the Arts Center, you have some other things going on, including the opening reception for Mary Vaughn coming up. Yep, um, coming up this Friday. Um, we'll have that opening reception from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, the artist is traveling here from Hastings. She lives part of the year in Hastings, um, part of the year in Santa Rosa, California. 
and uh, so she's coming in for that. Hopefully our weather holds up and she has a good trip here. All right. Uh, she has a pretty uh, uh, interesting uh, collection of original yeah. acrylic paintings, right? Yeah, uh, kind of three different directions. Um, one group is called Biotiques. They're a sort of half antique found object, half acrylic painting, a very interesting uh, uh, series. And then another one is the French Word Series. Um, which sort of uh, pokes fun at like American pop culture and, and food culture. Um, another uh, series of paintings that she'll have is called Eco Abstracts, where it's uh, natural elements and uh, sort of mixed into her abstract painting style. So, very, very interesting collection coming in. That's great. And she's at the gallery for most of the month. That's right, yep, through March 25th. And uh, it's free to visit the gallery and um, check it out Tuesday through Friday. Um, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. weekends 1 to 5. All right, that's great. And Billy, you've got uh, something interesting happening on Friday. Yeah, you can have a great night, you know, experiencing the arts here in town. You know, go to the the opening reception of the art center, and then uh, we have a special guest that's going to be join, joining us at the theater via Skype on Friday night. Uh, film uh, Oscar-winning film director Alexander Payne, yeah. and just won the Oscar for The Descendants on Sunday. Will be joining us to. Uh, introduce his film and uh, do a short Q&A before the film with patrons there at the theater and be able to interact with him from Omaha. So he, he wasn't That's able awesome. to make it out to, to Scott's Bluff and see us, but he was uh, uh, excited to be able to introduce the film in the, in the theater. He was here, I don't know, it's been six, maybe eight years ago for our film festival, and we've kind of kept in contact and have followed Alexander's career since then. So It's pretty great. Yeah, we should have a, hopefully, come down and uh, see a good movie. Uh, it's supposed to be a really to be a good, movie. good movie. And uh, get to chat with Alexander. We have uh, an autographed item that we're going to be doing an auction with, it looks like. And uh, those details are just kind of coming together this morning. So uh, watch our Facebook and or just come down and check us out that evening. All right. And Descendants is there all weekend Yes, it long. shows all weekend, Friday, Saturday, 7.30, uh, 1.30 on Sunday. You've had good attendance for movies lately. We bought a zoo was uh, great. It was I heard record breaking for record us. breaking and War Horse you had was good quite for a few. Us, so so uh, it's you, good to you're, see. You're, it's you're picking good so shows far. and then uh, of course Nebraska well represented at the Oscars with Alexander Payne and the gentleman from Omaha that yep. won uh, the uh, short film. <coughs> yeah, I can't think Oscar. of what his name is now. It seems like uh, I think it's Steve Jung. Is that? Is, I think that's how you pronounce it. Streams, so. Right. But uh, yeah, Nebraska had a good uh, good presence at the Oscars, and uh, look for many of those other films to be coming. Iron Ladies should be coming soon. The Artist should be coming as soon as I get my fingers on a print of it. Uh, but uh, watch for some of those winning films to, to creep up in the next six weeks or so. All right, you guys are busy the yeah. next couple weeks. Don't forget about auditions on Monday, and uh, come out and see the kids on next Friday night. It'll be another good good exposure to you know. It's good to see those kids up there, you know finding what their dreams may be. That's right. Auditions again Monday, 4 p.m. at the Midwest Theater for Missoula Children's Theater production of Cinderella. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank you.